this guy, Gisela is saying this guy who from Pennsylvania who offed his dad and showed his dad's unalived head on a YouTube stream. She says this guy sued the federal government because they allowed women to have equal pay and he felt like that was why he couldn't get a job. He also sued the federal government for letting him take out a loan and he didn't realize that as a white male he wasn't going to be able to get a job after college. Five, four, three, There's some issues there. Like remember one, people, anybody can get on YouTube. This guy was on YouTube. We have a lift off. Bitches. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is what I'm watching. This is uh, Grizzly True Crime. I already added it today's. Some dude, some dude offed his dad, took his head, <clears throat> showed it on a YouTube video, and then put it in a, what is with people putting heads in pots after they've unalived someone and they take it off their body? Why do they stick it in pots? Why is that a thing? Why? Why? Welcome. So, I'm going to be putting on my pink wig today. I'm wearing a dress again. It's rainy and cold, but... <coughs> not editing that out. We all cough, goddammit. But, yeah. Uh, it's rainy and stuff, but I figured, like... Go out. I got sweaters and long socks and shit. It's... It's not like it's the Midwest or back East cold. It's Southern California cold. There is a difference between Southern California cold and the cold other places. Southern California cold is not very cold. So yeah. I'm watching this live stream. I also got a fireplace going. Noe's sitting in the middle of the room. Say hello to everybody, Noe. Say hi. So yeah. <sighs> My video just went up. YouTube was faster today. It was faster today. So, yeah. I um, wanted to do some makeup. I wanted to wear my pink wig. Maybe take some pictures for, like, Instagram or do a TikTok or something. I need to figure out how to hook up my Shopify shop to my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Which I don't really like Facebook that much because it's a lot of people I know from, like, high school and stuff. And I don't know. But, you know, like, I got Instagram, where most of my friends are. And, um, I got TikTok, which I just started a TikTok. It's below. Sorry, I'm yawning. But it'll be linked below if you want it. So, yeah. I'm gonna do my makeup. We're gonna do pink. We're gonna stain my eyebrows pink. I'll probably be wearing that a lot this weekend, because we got... We're going to, like, a weekend. This, there's an event here in Palm Springs that we're gonna be going to. It's gonna be so much fun. I'll let you, you'll, it'll be a surprise type deal type moment. So it's, you know, it's in the future and shit. I don't want to give it too much away, but yeah, I've just been watching this. What is going on? Like, I know true crime, like, crime is always happening, but it's like, what the hell's going on? Especially, like, too, like, more that comes out about the Chiefs fans that froze and Jordan, like, Breaking Bad, what? And then you got this guy who, this guy, Gisela is saying this guy who, from Pennsylvania, who offed his dad and showed his dad's unalived head on a YouTube stream. She says, this guy sued the federal government because they allowed women to have equal pay and he felt like that was why he couldn't get a job he also sued the federal government for letting him take out a loan and he didn't realize that as a white male he wasn't going to be able to get a job after college there's some issues there like remember people anybody can get on youtube this guy was on youtube he's been he was on youtube for for a while it wasn't like he just set up this account and went on like It's scary, right? It, it's kind of scary. Anybody can log on to the YouTube and upload a video. That video was up for a while before it got taken down. It got like 5,000 views or something before it got taken down. Of this guy ranting with his dad, unalive dad's 
head holding it. And you know, when YouTube finds out about that shit, even if it's in the middle of the night, I have heard that they will wake those people's asses out of bed to go get that shit under control. Like, they don't care who they have to bring into the office. They will do it, so. I'm gonna do my makeup and get my wig on. Oh, I forgot to show you in the last video. I ended it, and I told you I wanted to show you um, my new t-shirt design, and then I got sidetracked because, you know, my brain. So, let me show you my t-shirt design that I have coming. It looks so good. Okay. So, here is the t-shirt. This is a mock-up of the t-shirt. So, there's a mock-up. Doesn't that look good? It looks so good. So, let me show you the bigger design. Ah, no. I don't want that. Okay. Here's it bigger. So it says, Desert Mermaid presents the DGAF tour. Tickets on sale at Desert Mermaid. And you got the girl, or DGAF girl, flipping off the camera, or flipping off everybody with the windmill in the back. I think it's going to look cool. Whatever see-through, you know, is going to be the, um, is going to be the tan. So I think on the cream, that's going to look sick. And I got stickers coming, too. The stickers, so. Ugh. Visible fluff on my nose. I hate that. And your nose gets dirty, and then people are like, stop touching your nose. It looks like you're digging for buried treasure. Yeah. I think we're going to do a magic trick. So I'm going to snap my fingers, and my makeup and hair will be done. Are you ready for this? I wish this is how this really worked. Pulled me over would have had a dash cam, right? Maybe I can get a copy of the footage. See if I can find a clue. Do they just hand that stuff to random Oh, people? fuck yeah, they do. There's whole know. ass YouTube cool. channels where that's all they do. So I got a movie for you linked in the playlist. It is called Home Killing Queen. If it'll focus on the title. Ah, eh, who gives a crap? So it is really good. It is basically like what it describes about... Girls running for homecoming, one being incre the rich girl in the town being incredibly jealous. Yeah, so this is my hair today. I need to pull up the flat iron and kind of flat iron it a bit, but yeah, this is what we're working with today. We're hanging out, gave Noe a snackers, chilling, probably gonna get on top of my pain, but yeah, looking good. I need to get on the computer and work on the website. I don't know, when it's raining, do you ever feel lazy? Like you just wanna kinda sit around and watch YouTube or Lifetime movies or something, or movies in general? Yeah, me. But then again, that's what I usually do. <laughs> that's what I'm good at, I'm a professional YouTube watcher. All I do, sorry, my wig is itchy. Shift it, shift it a little, like Sheree said, shift it. I <laughs> love that scene from Atlanta Housewives, Nene. Lindsay Wilhand's daddy, you get your ass back to Malibu. That was epic. So, yeah, every time I move my wig because I get itchy, I'm like, shift it. I was just trying to shift it. You know, Sheree, I was just trying to shift it a little. So, yeah, got my fireplace on. This one's a snowy one. Yeah, and it is raining. Look at There's Timmy. There's Timmy over there. Looking outside at the rain. Timmy. Timmy. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what's going on. Whoa. That's close. Yeah. So, that'll be linked below your lifetime movie of the day. Yo. So, I changed. Finished that movie. That movie's crazy. That is linked. Um, so, yeah. I changed because I started feeling constricted in that, like, dress. Kind of like a... Uh, Kind of feeling less mermaid and more whale. More like a desert whale. No. So, I'm wearing my uninfluenced, free thinking, free thinker, not your, not your average basic bitch. Authenticity is my aesthetic. 
I'm still trying, I'm trying to read backwards. Not afraid to say fuck you when necessary. I should know what's on my own shirt. So this is actually a shirt that I sell over on DesertMermaid.com if you wanna check it out or interested. But yeah, so I put on jeans and yeah, my big, I like big flowy shirts. I always get my shirts like, you know, <laughs> oversized. I'm one of those people that just likes wearing oversized clothes, but yeah. And because I'm my boobs, but yeah. So I changed. I was just feeling like, I don't want to wear that. Especially if we're going to be going out tonight and it's rainy. It's been rainy all day, but the rain should be going away. <sighs> all the cats are staring at me. It's creepy. Look, I got one. And I got two over there. Yeah, what do you, what? What? What, Mr. Frank? What? It is being reported, multiple substances. Multiple substances. And of course, they're gonna be on Cuomo talking about this and in, in, okay. in its entirety and all that a little bit later on. We're gonna be on tonight. Cuomo worry, later. I will keep an eye on that like a mother lover and we will talk about it most likely in the following morning when we have some time to wow. talk about this in its entirety. Well, no but surprise there, folks. That multiple substances were found in their body, including, uh -huh. okay, including the flaky flake, that snow. Ooh. Okay? It wasn't the only thing that they were partaking in, apparently. Wow. If you have other substances in the system, mm -hmm. it's interesting. Now, Jennifer Coffin Daffer does not report what other si uh, oh substances God. were in there. It is from Fox 4, the local, the local media, the local news station that's been covering this. Malik okay, guys. Ja Jackson, if I'm correct. So, wow, they're reporting multiple substances. This just, I just, this came across and I'm like, what the hell? So I guess there was, it's no really big surprise, honestly. Wow. Oh, here's Ichamel. I'm going to link these David videos Harrington, in the list. McGinney, and Ricky Johnson have received calls from detectives telling them that these toxicology reports are complete. Now, they haven't got the full details of what is in them because mm -hmm. these are very mm -hmm. detailed reports. Right, but what right. What we do know is that they found several substances in their system. Yeah. The, substances are the snow's in it. The snow from South America. Welcome back. To the if you're confused you about that. that yeah. So some of the snow that comes from South America, you know, places like Colombia, gets cut with uh, fentanyl. Just saying. Just saying. So, yeah, I'm going to link whatever videos I find on my journey to find out exactly what is in this, you know, toxicology report. I will link all these videos, but that's what News Nation is reporting right now. And, yeah, wow. Not surprised though, not surprised. Now, is this something Jordan made? That's interesting, right? Like, how did they get this? And what else, what other substances? Cause it could just be, you know, like weed or, you know, like they could mean like alcohol too. That, that could be, that's considered a substance. So it'll be interesting to see what else it is, you know? But yeah, they cut that stuff the snow with a lot of stuff so that's it's interesting oh whoa we were gonna go out tonight but it's wet all over the place like <laughs> from the rain i know where your mind just went when i said that don't worry mine did too so anyways we're on youtube we have to keep it clean so yeah patrick went and got a bondiga soup oh let me move that because we're on youtube as well but he went and got a bondiga soup and we got a Diet Coke to go with it. So yeah, it is definitely soup weather out there. This would be a really good thumbnail. Call it soup weather vlog. Yeah, soup weather vlog. Have you ever heard of that mem soup girls? Soup girls or stew girls? I don't know what the fuck that shit is, but yeah. And I got my, my tortillas and my chips. 
I put lots of lemon in my bondiga soup. If you don't know what that is, it's like Mexican meatball soup. Sorry, I'm just shifting it a little bit. We're gonna watch some fruits basket. I also still have my uh, fireplace up. Yeah, so that's what's going on tonight. Patrick's posting a picture. Whoa. I posted a picture on Instagram, which my Instagram's linked below, of the DGAF shirt, of me in the DGAF shirt with the blue wig on. And he's posting it to his stories um, and stuff, yeah. You know, which is really sweet. He was like, I want to post this. You're so beautiful in it. And I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> which, she I mean, is. isn't it fucked up when someone only posts pictures of their girlfriend, like, you know, on their birthday or, like, you know, when they get in trouble? Right. Isn't that fucked? I think that's really fucked up. Or, like, when their girlfriend tags them on something and they just, they don't repost it at all. I mean, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah, seriously. I mean, if your girlfriend's so beautiful, like, why can't you, like, post her all the time? I mean, wow. Not good. Not good. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my soup and my fruits basket and hang out with the love of my life. I'm getting scared of shit now. Okay. okay. They just came circling this thing three times, and then they stopped over here. And then they were looking for one of these little apples. Maybe they found it. Maybe they just... Oh, you said so, so they like came back to grab a type deal? Type deal? What? I gotta hear that again. Oh, you said so, so they like came back to grab a type deal? But it was not the same. That officer just said type deal. Grab it type deal. I wonder if that officer uh, watches Girl World. Does his wife watch Girl World? That officer, someone, him or someone in that officer's life is watching Girl World. Type deal. I saw that and I was just like, every time I hear someone say moment type deal or just type deal, I'm like, Are you watching Girl World? Yes, yeah, so anyways, it's the next day. I'm trying to wake up with Frank. We're watching YouTube trying to wake up, get with it. So I can start editing. We got a full weekend ahead. Watched Fruits Basket last night. Fell asleep. It was great. I worked on yesterday some hats to go with the um, DGAF tour. So, I want to show you. These are just mock-ups. So, I still got to order them and have them, like, do the patches and stuff. You know, so. I got the green on brown. We got green on white and black. The green on black, black. Pink on black and white. Pink on black, black. That's the side view. And pink, pink. Pink, pink. Yeah, they're like trucker hats. And then the sides, they're mesh. So those will be really nice for summer. I just thought that was kind of cool. So yeah. Something I'm working on to go with... Uh, our DGAF collection. It seems like we have a whole DGAF collection going on here at Desert Mermaid. So, I like it though. I like... Everybody's just really responded well to that DGAF. In my DGAF era shirt. And so I just thought... I, I'm gonna make more of what everybody loves. That's what you do, right? You make what people love. You give the people what they want. So yeah. If you guys want to visit my website, DesertMermaid.com... Some people are having issues with the website because Shopify is, when you first launch your Shopify, there's usually a couple kinks with the website responding to the domain. So if for some reason you go to the website and it nothing shows up, clear your cache and your cookies and that should do it. I know, annoying, right? But it's what we're working with right now. So, as always, I'm sending lots of love to everybody. I love you guys. 
And I hope you guys have fun doing whatever you're gonna do until I see you in the next one. Bye.